All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're gonna to be talking about the right or appropriate pot size for you when growing fig trees in containers. Everyone always asks me, Ross, you grow a lot of fig trees in containers. I've been doing this for a lot of years, guys, and I've had many, many fig trees in containers over the years. And so this right here in front of me is actually a one gallon size. This is a four by nine inch pot, or you may find them at a six by six inch size. And these, containers here are really good for rooting cuttings or they're going to keep the tree smaller and lighter so that you can ship it across the country and that's typically what I do that's part of my business and if you're interested I sell these trees on my blog figboss.com throughout the spring the summer and the fall and you guys can go there and check that out if you're interested so that's what this size is mainly for they're not really for keeping them in this size or producing fruit um, or even producing cuttings this is just just to get them in other people's hands or to root them myself. And this is probably the final size you'll see here. This is about a tree that's about an, uh, a foot and a half in height. And this is roughly what it's gonna finalize uh, into because there's only so much room in these containers. And the amount of room and nutrients and water in these containers will determine the final size of your tree and the final productivity of your tree. So a general rule of thumb is if you want more fruit, you're typically gonna want a bigger container. Now, how big of a container can you go? I've seen people grow them in 55 or 100 gallon drums. So think about that. That's just, this is only a one gallon size pot. You could have almost 100 times more soil than what's in this container. Um, and of course, you're gonna have close to 100 times more productivity. So I would argue, that's not really a great idea though for most of us because those pots are just very heavy and you can't move them. Uh, a lot of people do half whiskey barrels if they want a permanent home um, or the largest pot they can find typically that's durable that they can find. And that's a great idea. But something you may want to consider is, well, let's think about the next size up because this size here I find is really great this is the two gallon size, which is an eight by eight inch container. I find this is perfect for transplanting these into the ground if I'm planting them or if I'm repotting them into a larger container. I find this is perfect. I also like the, the one gallon size for repotting them in containers, but I don't actually enjoy planting them at this size all the time unless they're really, really well rooted. Uh, but so for me, if I was gonna be planting a lot of trees, I'd wanna get them established in at least this before planting them in the ground. They do so much better after planting them, I find. And this is about the final size as well. This is a, a grow bag versus the plastic. I don't really have a preference. It depends on your climate. Um, but the size itself, this tree is actually gonna produce fruit versus the other one that probably won't produce many fruits if at all. Uh, and these will actually produce decent quality fruit, but you're not gonna get many. And so maybe if I left it in this container next year, which is not my plan, but if I did, I could probably get maybe 15, 20 figs off of this. And that wouldn't be that bad. Uh, but again, the next size up, which I think you'll find very surprising, is this three gallon. And this is a 10 inch by 10 inch pot, roughly. And this tree is way more productive and can definitely produce, uh, if you really know what you're doing, about 50 figs every year. The problem with these smaller pots is that they typically root out really quickly. Um, so the pots get filled up quick and you might get really root bound in a short amount of time. And maybe some of you guys at that point may either want to do root pruning uh, to maintain your tree in that container size or you may want to just repot it into something larger or plant it in the ground. For me, I have not really too much of an issue growing these in, these in this size long term, but I do find that if you're going to keep it in this size long term, you're going to want to do some kind of root pruning, maybe every other year, every three years minimum to make sure that this tree is, is continually healthy and not choking itself out. You can always just keep giving it water and fertilizer for an extended period of time. As long as those two things are met, the trees are gonna produce and they're gonna be happy. But eventually something's gonna happen where this tree is not really gonna enjoy life and it may end up dying. So the bigger you can go, not only 
the more fruits it's going to produce, which we saw a pretty big jump from the two gallon to the three gallon, but basically the less you're going to have to really root prune it or do something to it uh, in terms of its root zone. It's just not going to get as root bound nearly as quickly or as easily, and you're not going to have to worry about that. You could grow them in grow bags long term. And that's the one big difference between plastic and grow bags. They do actually perform rather well every year in these grow bags, although eventually uh, you will have to reprune them. I did run into that um, after a number of years, but you know it is at least giving you a little bit more time. Um, again, this three gallon size, again, 50 fruits, that's pretty nice. And I think this to me is the sweet spot. I like to evaluate them, different varieties I'm growing in this size, and then make a determination of what I want to do with it. Uh, you can go a little larger to the five gallon size, which is like a 12 inch by 12 inch pot or a seven gallon size. And those are going to produce a little bit more fruit. So you got maybe a five gallon, you're going to produce about 75 figs in a 10 gallon. You could produce 150 figs, so almost double what the five gallon was producing. And then a 15 gallon is probably the largest I would personally go because I can't move them uh, anything larger than a 15. That's just too heavy for me. Even me, I'm 32 years old, um, you know, somewhat strong and it's just too much work. It's just not worth it, especially when you have, you know, for me, I have a hundred or more fig trees in containers. So I don't want to be carrying around these big ones. I like the smaller ones, even though I may have to root prune them a little bit more often, I can carry a five gallon or a three gallon in each arm. Um, and a lot of us, that's the main reason why we're growing them in containers is because we need to protect them throughout the winter. If you guys live in a zone seven, six, or five, it's going to be difficult growing them in the ground um, simply because of the winter cold. So I would recommend if you are going to grow them in the container in those zones, go with something a little smaller because you're inevitably going to have to move it somewhere. You're going to have to protect the fig trees every year in those zones um, when you're growing them in containers. So that's the uh, video there, guys. I hope this helps. Please hit that subscribe button. Check out my blog, figboss.com. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.